Alrighty guys, today we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to adjust your clock. It's uh, probably one of the most common uh, customer call-ins of, hey, how do I adjust or how do I fix? Because uh, they wanna be able to do it themselves. But the book is really confusing and uh, it's one of those things that uh, unless you see it for yourself, it's kind of hard to explain over the phone. So I may, I'm making this video just to help out not only my customers, but uh, fellow Subaru owners that uh, refer to YouTube uh, to get some assistance in relation to how to work their car and how to, how to change their features and functions. So first things first, um, most uh, Subaru models, whether it be the Outback, the Forester, uh, the Impreza, they have these buttons down here these are pull buttons so they come towards you uh, these cycle a screen up and down and then this one here you press and hold or use it to select now on the outbacks the screen that you'll be operating is up here on this 2013 forester the uh, screen is over here on the on the dash so we're gonna go ahead and kind of do a quick rundown these up and down keys change the screen from different functions and features. So fuel economy, miles to empty, date and time, which is wrong, that's what we're gonna be fixing. It's about uh, 1.30, not four o'clock. And then eventually you'll get to uh, this screen here. And what you do at this screen is you press and hold that button. When you press and hold that button, it changes the uh, options here and it'll give you a number of things you can change and a number of settings you can adjust. Now, a little tricky on these Foresters, uh, 2012 or 2013, all the way to like 17 or 18, um, is a little confusing because it pops up date. If you scroll through, there is no specific, um, you know, clock setting, but it is actually the date setting. So again, you press that button there and that'll give you the options and it's gonna give you where you can uh, add a birthday, anniversary, daylight savings time. We're gonna hit date. And then this will pop up. Now, obviously this is today's date, which is correct, but this per you know, this person traveled from across country, so it's off by a couple hours. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scroll through using the arrow keys all the way down to the clock. Now, when you get to the, you know, the, the setting you wanna change, we're gonna go ahead and click that. And military time, uh, this would be 13. So it's one, 158. And uh, so we'll make it 1358. And uh, you go all the way down to set, hit that, and your setting has now been completed. Now you scroll all the way down and it'll, it'll allow you to, to go back feature there. Scroll down one more time to go back and then it'll leave you back on this screen and you can go back to where you want. So you can see the clock is now adjusted. We're also gonna reset that tire light, but I'll make that another video. This one's getting kind of long. I just wanted to uh, make a quick and easy video for you guys to understand how to reset your clock. Again, most models, 2012 to 2018, it's, it's through these three buttons here on the left lower side of the steering wheel. Hope this helps you guys out, and uh, you take care. Have a great rest of your day.